Hello everyone. Today I'm showing you what I believe is the best base location in Project Zomboid thanks to the modded map edition called Breakpoint by Milo. To start off, this expansion repurposes a small cell before the Louisville checkpoint. This makes it a great main base location for being close to the action without having to deal with the urban hordes. It's also just off the main road, so going back west isn't very inconvenient either. Its close proximity to the Louisville checkpoint and refugee camp is great early game to acquire military clothing, weapons, and ammo. There's also lots of generators, cots to disassemble, and the 800 unit metal drums. Just north of the base there's a warehouse filled with crates, and to the east is a storage depot. There's also an elementary school, but not very many book spawns. South of the base is the Crossroads Mall and Shopping Center, which can be high risk, but very lucrative. Its huge parking lot provides tons of vehicle spawns to hotwire, salvage, and choose from. If you can get to it before the power shuts off, the ice cream shop is my go-to for loads of free calories in the first months of survival. Just across the street is a small bookstore and another gas station in case the one by your base runs dry. Taking the first exit off the road drops you off at the gas station and what I consider the main entrance of the compound. What I really like about these entrances especially is the amount of room you have to strand and line up even the longest vehicles with the gate so you can get through. The main area provides plenty of room to drive around and park. Besides the west entrance, there's also gates on the north, east, and south sides. North puts you back out onto the main road. East is more of a hidden exit I like to use for trapping game animals, and the south gate leads you to a secondary base compound. I generally don't use this one since the layout is less ideal, but if you are playing multiplayer, it's nice to have the space and option for friends or other players. It has mostly the same amenities as the main building, but I'll be speeding through this section. Back in the main compound, there's a dedicated greenhouse with lots of established farm plots, and a secondary garage to store or work on vehicles in. The main base has a nice pull-through garage and workshop. The armory has lots of storage and tables to display your weapons, but doesn't spawn with anything in them to keep from being too overpowered. On the rest of the first floor, there's a decent sized storage room with some popsicle freezers, a cleaning room, a tailoring slash clothing room, and a bathroom. I usually repurpose this to be even more storage. Entrance and exits on both sides of the base is also very appreciated. Upstairs has all the other amenities you need. The pantry has even more popsicle freezers, which I tend to dismantle when the power goes out since it's actually too many and very draining on the generator. Next to the pantry is a dedicated medical room. The living room comes with a fireplace, which is great for winter. The bedroom has a gym next to it, which is awesome if you're using the fitness overhaul mod. There's also a neat balcony on the backside. The rooftop access on all the structures provides lots of vision around the compound, but more importantly being able to easily set up water catchers to pipe down water to the sinks. And that pretty much sums up the tour. Given all the features and the location of the base, that's why I think this is one of the best modded base locations you can have in Project Zomboid. I've based here twice so far, and it's always been a lot of fun, so I hope you'll give it a try and let me know how it goes for you. If you want to download it yourself, it'll be linked in the description to the Steam Workshop where you can subscribe to it. Be sure to also give it a like too, I'm sure Milo would appreciate it. Anyways, thanks for watching, see you all next time.